Hi, my name's Jyoti. I want to introduce myself. I am one of the founders of a spiritually intentional community called Kayamari that started in 1995. And before that work began, I had met my partner, Russell Park, and he and I had joined our hearts and our minds and our actions in a movement for world peace and anything we could do to help bring peace to this planet. One of the tools that we received to help us in that endeavor was called Maya Tree Breathwork. Both Russ and I had worked with Stan and Christina Groff early on. Uh, I was the director for the Spiritual Emergence Network, and Christina Groff had seen a vision of a Spiritual Emergence Network that went globally that would help people that were awakening to their own authenticity, their full presence embodied, um, and would have to go through some possible challenging moments in order for that to come about. Um, so we worked closely with them. Stan and Christina, as you may know, uh, founded what's called Holotropic Breathwork, and it's still out there working in the world doing amazing and beautiful things. Every time I started to go forward to, to register and try to become certified because it wasn't first certified when we first started working with them. They later decided that was important and they needed to do that because it was becoming a global movement. But every time I went back to try to start that process of getting certified, something would stop me. It was only a few years later when Maya Tree would come during meditation and give us a format that she would call a medium mystic healing prayer circle. So let me describe a little bit of what makes Maya Tree, um, Maya Tree, because there are many breath works out there and they access very different parts of the psyche. Maya Tree uh, got its name when I caught a, a, a study and brought an understanding that it was Buddhist in its nature, Maya Tree meaning to embrace all of oneself in a friendly way. So that's the goal of the day for you is to embrace yourself, all of yourself, in a friendly way. Maya tree is an alchemical process that is put together by bringing in different um, tools that will help in that process of revealing what may need healing or what is wanting to come up for expansion in your system. So we will have helpers on the floor that are trained and in these ways and can open their mediumistic talents and channels so that they can embody the healing spirits and the doctors that have traveled with Maya Tree since, it, since its inception. They do lots of hands-on healing work to assist you in what your spirit has brought you to the circle to do. For you see, we're not there really to do something on you or for you. We're there to create a very safe container in which you and your spirits can come and meet and do the work that you're needing in order to heal and expand your consciousness. Again, I'll remind you that it was given to us as an instrument for peace work. We can't have peace outside the world until we find peace inside of us. So that's its goal. Now, the what we also put into play besides our people on the floor, the mediums that will be working and assisting in this process, we also have an herb seat so that aromatherapy becomes part of what sets the atmosphere. There are different aromas that will help to stimulate what needs to happen in the room because we'll be collectively working, though we're individually uh, working as well. It's an and-both situation. What we've discovered over the years as we circle up is that everybody there is an aspect, a voice of an aspect of themselves and ourselves. And so when we hear where everybody's come from and what they're bringing to the circle, we begin to understand what we collectively came to help transmute and rise up for the collective at large. And that becomes the peace work. So we will spend a full day together. We will have music that the cosmic disc jockey will be playing uh, and that will help to stimulate your movement so your mind has a place to want to travel following the music we'll use pranayama breathing is what you would call it if you were a yogic practitioner it's rapid breathing that can be done either through the mouth or through the nose it helps to move you into an altered state of consciousness and that therefore it relaxes your ego and your mind so that the soul can do its work um, 
with that said, then you've got music and you've got aromatherapy and you've got practitioners on the floor with you and you've got all of us establishing a safe container that is sacred and is held in regard so that you feel safe and nurtured. Um, the, by the end of the day, and it's a long day, we start in the morning and we will, you'll, you'll spend one time being a breather and you'll spend one time sitting to help hold the space for the breather. And there can be big processes that happen uh, in either of those seats. We ask you to come and bring things that will make you feel comfortable. You can bring sacred objects. We will have an altar up, and that altar is everyone's altar, so please, please bring anything that you feel sacred that you want to put on the altar that can be blessed and can add to the healing energy of the circle that we're holding together. So I hope that my explanation about Maya tree has intrigued you or at least answered any questions or concerns you might have been holding and that your if you remember that your if your heart is calling you then listen to the call and hopefully I'll get to see you as we circle up and open this prayer circle for life. Have a beautiful day. Bye.